Good day students, welcome to MathGodServe.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to apply the angle addition postulate. Before we get started with some examples, let's take a look at what the angle addition postulate is. Okay, angle addition postulate. It's um, very similar to the segment addition postulate. Uh, you can think about the angle addition postulate as the um, representation of the segment addition postulate in angular form. All right, so let's say we have an angle that has an interior point, okay? So let's go ahead and label it. Let's say we have, um, this is point A, and then this is interior point B, and then this is point C, and let's call the, the vertex right here D. So the angle addition postulate basically states that um, the measure of angle ADB, so this first angle right here, plus the measure of angle BDC is equal to what? Is equal to the measure of both angles combined, measure of angle a, B, C. Okay, so that's this is basically what the um, angle addition postulate states. All right, let's consider question number one. So in this one, we are to find the measure of angle V, J, K if the measure of angle I, J, K is equal to 95 degrees and the measure of angle IJV is equal to 42 degrees, okay? So let's say you were um, provided with the following um, angular depiction of the situation. So we have the entire angle and an interior point somewhere there. So let's say this is um, J, the vertex, K, B and I. All right, so we are to find the measure of V, J, K. So we need to find out what this angle here is equal to. So this one is an unknown. And we know that angle I, J, V is 42 degrees. So if we want to use the um, angle addition postulate, what relationship, what equation can we state to relate these two angles and the entire angle? Well, we can say that the measure of angle EJK, the unknown angle that we're looking for, plus the measure of the other angle, angle um, IJV, IJV, if you add those two angles, you get the entire angle, which is the measure of angle um, IJK, okay? All right, so now that we have a relationship between these three angles using the angle of distance postulate, we're gonna now carry out a substitution. Measure of angle VJK stays the way it is because that's what we're looking for, it's an unknown. Measure of angle IJV is 42 degrees and the measure of angle IJK is 95 degrees. Okay, so we now have an algebraic equation. We're now solving for the unknown measure of angle V, J, K. To get that isolated, we'll sub subtract 42 degrees from both sides of the equation, and that leaves us with the measure of angle V, J, K being equal to 53 degrees, okay? So there goes your final answer. All right, let's take a look at our question two. In this case, let's see the measure of angle EDF is 76 degrees, and the measure of angle FDC is 40 degrees, and you are to find the measure of angle EDC. So let's say you're given the following um, 
visual depiction of the relationship between the angles. We have the uh, entire angle right there, EDC, and we have an interior point F. So let's say this point right here is, this is E, this is D, this is F, and this is C. Okay, so can we write an equation that relates the three angles? Absolutely, using the angle addition postulate, we know that the measure of angle EDF plus the measure of angle FDC is equal to the measure of angle EDC. Okay, so we're gonna carry out a substitution. Uh, measure of angle EDF is 76 degrees. Measure of angle FDC is 40 degrees. And that is equal to measure the measure of angle EDC. We don't have to do any solving here since the unknown variable um, angular measure is already isolated on its own. Okay, so the measure of angle EDC is simply the sum of these two angles, 76 plus 40, which is 116 degrees. So there goes our final answer for question number two. All right, now let's take a look at question three. This is slightly more involved. We're going to be applying um, the angle addition postulates to um, an algebraic equation, okay? That involves more steps, multiple steps. So let's say we're to find, find X if the measure of angle CBR is equal to the expression six X plus four um, the measure of angle RBA is equal to 51x plus 3. And the measure of angle CBA is equal to 178 degrees. Okay. And let's say we were given the following um, graphical representation of the scenario. So we have an angle right here, very slight tilt. Then another angle right here. And then you have an angle going in that direction. All right, so let's say um, this point right here, the vertex is B. And this is A, this is C, and this is R, the interior point. Now, um, let's go ahead and apply the angle of distance postulate to state the relationship between these two angles and the entire combination of the two angles, okay? So applying the angle of distance postulate, we know that the measure of angle CVR, this angle right here, the smaller of the two plus the measure of angle RBA, the bigger of the two is equal to the measure of both angles combined, which is the measure of angle CBA. Okay, so this equation is based on the angle addition postulate. Now that we've written it down, we're now going to carry out a substitution. So our measure of angle CBR is 6x plus 4, plus measure of angle RBA is 51x plus 3. And then the measure of angle CBA is 178 degrees. Okay, so this is a resulting algebraic equation. We need to solve for X because that is what we are asked to find. Okay, so first thing we're going to do on the left side, we are going to combine like terms. 6X and 51X are first degree variables in terms of X. So we combine these two together, we add them up. That leaves us with 50 7x. And then we have two constants, 4 and uh, 3. Combine those two together, that yields 7 equals 178. Now, to get x isolated, we need to get rid of the 7 and then the 57 afterwards. Step number 1 involves subtracting 7 from both sides. That uh, leaves us with 57x equals 171. Okay, so let's do like that. 
Now to get uh, x isolated, we simply divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 57. And then you have x equals, if you multiply 57 by 3, you end up with 171. Okay, so your answer is going to be 3. x equals 3. That is our final answer for question number 3. All right, let's take a look at uh, question number 4. So for question 4, let's say that, um, let's see the measure, um, measure of angle... JKA is equal to the expression x plus 70. Um, the measure of angle JKL is the expression 2x plus 174. And the measure of angle AKL is 104. Okay, so what if we were to find the measure of angle J, K, um, L, okay? Measure of angle J, K, L. Uh, okay, so let's say uh, we're given the following um, visual representation of the situation. We have a point here. This is point L, K, and J. And then the interior point is point A. All right, so first thing we're going to do is apply the angle addition postulate to this um, situation. So we have the measure, we on the right here, the measure of angle J, K, A, the first angle, this one right here. The measure of angle JKA plus the measure of the other angle um, AKL is equal to the measure of the combined angle, which is the measure of angle JKL. Okay, so using the angle addition postulates, we end up with this uh, equation. Now let's go ahead and carry out the substitution. Let's substitute the values in. So measure of angle J, K, A is X plus 70. Plus the measure of angle A, K, L is 104. Um, and then the measure of angle J, K, L is the expression 2X plus 174. All right, so we're going to solve this resulting equation for X. Let's see if we can combine like terms. On the left side, we have 70 and 104. Those are both constants. So if we combine them, we're going to have on the left side, x plus 174 equals 2x plus 174. All right, so let's uh, collect our variable or like terms um, to the same side of the equation. Let's put the variables on the right and uh, constants to the left. Let's move our variables first, subtract x from both sides. What does that give us? We're going to have um, 174 equals uh, x plus 174. Now to get x isolated, we will proceed to subtract 174 from both sides of our equation. And that should give us the value of x, okay? So on the left side, 174 minus 174 is 0. On the right side, these two add up to 0. We have x equals 0. Okay? So question, is this our final answer? The answer is no. Okay, if we go back to the original question, we were asked to find the measure of angle JKL. What have we found? We have just found out what x is. Okay? The measure of angle JKL is dependent on x in order to determine its some um, angular value. So we're going to take advantage of that dependency and substitute 0 for x in the resulting equation. Okay? So measure of angle JKL, we were told, is equal to 2x plus 174. That was a given. 
So what we're going to do now is we're going to substitute 0 for x um, in the equation. All right. So if we carry out the substitution, we're going to have the measure of angle JKL become in 2 times the x value of 0 um, plus 174. So that's going to give us 2 times 0 is 0 plus 174. And our final answer is going to be 174 degrees as a measure of angle JKL. Okay? So that's exactly what we are asked to find in question number four. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of geometry, uh, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very important to us. If you have any questions on what we just covered or geometry in general, just some ask a question in the comment section below, and I will be more than glad to provide you with support. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool um, math tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on math.serve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.